Uh, so this experiment is very important because we had the real firefighters who know nothing about the technology, but they know the best of trying to emulate a rescue operation. And so this is a good intersection of what we built and the scenario which is close to real life. So this is a test of our algorithms and the technology which we have built. So that's why it is very important. Localization is very important for overall situational awareness. When you come to an emergency scene, uh, it, most likely it's chaos. To top that, you have all your men, they have to solve all kind of uh, problems there. And as a leader, you want to keep track of them to be able to sort out the problem, get the right men to the right place. That means uh, it's indoor, it could be underground, as in the facilities we're in now, where uh, GPS, for example, it doesn't work at all. Uh, or if it works, it might give you 50 meters errors. So it's unacceptable to use GPS. Looking at uh, specific scenarios, we could see a, a fire in a cellar, uh, which is fairly long, so they need to go in a long way. If it's smoke-filled, there's no ventilation, so the smoke actually stays there, and they need to search all that area and it's really difficult for them to know how far have I reached uh, or they run out of air they need to turn back and they need to tell the others how far they came and if we can have a system so that uh, the smoke diving leader can tell them you need to go 10 meters there and turn right and then you can start searching uh, then we can increase the, the, um, the time from actual deployment to uh, the fire has been uh, put out, or they have actually found the person that was down there. The excitement is that we have been able to demonstrate and build a prototype and its usefulness in practical real-world situations. And the potential for this technology to be adapted to other applications also. We can do this. I mean, it's, it's a prototype, but it, it uh, these are realistic si systems that are coming and our system shows some critical components are necessary and it shows that with this very minimalistic setup uh, the localization of pedestrians in an, without any infrastructure is possible. It's about saving lives, I would say. That's uh, why we're interested in it. Um, and uh, it's about increasing the safety of the firefighters. It's about increasing uh, their efficiency. And if, if they can turn off the fires quicker, uh, then we can save also lives from the civilian side, I would say. So it's about saving lives. Think about it, it's like, like science fiction. You do this in computer games, or, well, I haven't played computer games in 10 years, but this, it's, it's not hard to imagine, but now it's actually you can do this for real. You, you achieve a, a capability, it's like a sixth sense. You can look on the screen and you know where, where everybody's at. <laughs>